can't get no. Okay. Oh, All right. So you're. Oh hi, darling. I love you already. <laughs> who are you? I. You know who I am. I don't. Have, have we started yet? Yeah, we started. Oh, we started. Hi, people. Yeah. Hello. My name is uh, Starchild from Starchild Entertainment. Starchild at CA. Bye. But today, okay. I'm actually the purple. I am the purple laughing monster. The purple the laughing, laughing monster. monster. Yeah. So you spread joy throughout that's, the trade show. That's my mission. I think that's a wonderful I mission. And I go hee 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 ho ho ha ha. So what kind of what kind of response have you got from people? Good, right? Uh, people are marvelous. People are so ready for joy. Yes. And cleanliness and joy and yes. laughter and the goodness of life. People are so ready because there's so much darkness. You're right. And in order to to bring balance, we have to be overjoyed and over the top. So that's my mission, to be over the top. <laughs> so obviously you're a person that knows no fear, right? I know, fe I know fear when I see it, but I can control it. I can How control you... my thoughts, I can control my fear. When I see it, I, I become an, an energy that I can actually transform the fear into love. Nice. It's the you, only is, it, is it a big, pr does it take a lot of time or is it fairly quickly? It's or what? practice. Ah. Like meditation is mm. practice. Right. Yes, right. we need to practice to be at peace with ourselves, to be at peace with what surrounds us, to be at peace with what's going on, the war and all of that. You have to make peace because we can only change within ourselves and change slowly one by one in our home, in our neighborhood, in our trade show. Yes. And I'm You're here to right. share. Oh, good for you. Share I am so love. glad you came. Yeah, I'm serious you. because awesome. so many people are, are sad and they don't know how to get back to being happy. But you're going to teach them, right? We, I, yes, I am. I am a teacher. We all teachers. Yeah, but so you choose you the mission. door of hell, or you or the choose the, the, door the, the door of, of love heaven. and heaven. Love. Yes, yes. Yeah. door hell or heaven, and it's only in your mind. So even if things are happening, you feel this great darkness within you, or the pain, or the sadness, and all of that. We can only accept it and transform it because if we stay there. We become it become more of your reality, more darkness, more yep. darkness. So if you see it, you look at it, and the the great teachers are that they say to be actually indifferent, to look at it, mourn it, mm -hmm. and then move on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do not stay there. Yeah, because that'll lead to depression. It if leads you... to depression and suicidal <coughs> and killing and uh, the dark, freaking dark. And I could be in the dark because there's so much darkness. Mm -hmm. It's really sad. How long have you been walking in the light? How many years? All my life I was. Oh, oh really? Yes, all my life I was. Uh, I started 30 years ago as a children's, as a... Um, a musician? Busker on a busker? Grand really? Hill Island. No way. And also in the Sky Train I had my license. And I busked for about 10 years. I made a living. And then after that, I mean, I would go every day, play my music and heal myself because I come from a very dysfunctional family. So Me too. Like everybody Me is. Too. Yeah, and so yeah. I needed to sing, sing, sing and scream. And I let out so much through music and through art. <laughs> I made all my costume. I played music. I danced. I wrote songs. I would play 10 hours of music a day to let go of all my sadness. I was so sad. I just wanted to die. Really? So the music healed me to you go really, out? You I really did. restructured your entire life, haven't you? I mean, you, you built, you, you didn't pay somebody to make your costumes, you made your costumes. Yes. That was very special to you, very personal. Yes. That way your true yes. happiness... It, it healed me. Okay, so... To sew and to it, do what I love to do. Yeah. That's what's saving us, is to live your passion, live what you are truly meant to be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not somebody else told you to do that, or the machine, or Babylon, or whatever. We are supposed to have fun with our lives, and we are supposed to, to be living our passion. We are all have a gift to share. Oh, yes. All of us are deep, our dear, special human beings. All of us are here for one reason: is to live our passion. Absolutely, I couldn't and agree with you more. Oh, you know what? My heart sings for you. Oh, thank you. Really, seriously. And so, if you could teach someone that is unhappy, how would what would you tell them in like a minute? How to change their life? What was the first thing that they would have to look at? 
to change their life? Well, Where do they start? Most people need to mourn it, and they really need to do that. So I guess the first thing would be to beat the pillow and let out some screams, and then transform it into laughter, like, oh! <laughs> yes. Because yoga laughter is real. Yeah. You transform everything. So you start, you're not feeling it. You start. <laughs> and then suddenly it goes. In under a minute, you have taught me. Yes, and under a minute. You know that children mm. laugh 400 times a day. What? They giggle, they don't know, they, they are pure light, they laugh 400 times a day. Us, 20 at the most. You're kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm very <clears throat> serious. That's sad. Very sad. Because we don't have, we can't revisit that childhood imagination anymore when we're in that space, right? Yes. When we're in that that yes. like adult space yes so we learn we need to learn how to be children again we need to get Trusting. back to our, our source yeah our source is pure our source is light god is light god is joy i believe and you know when you look at what's going on like this morning i went to see a friend and his things are happening oh it's so sad mama so sad and stories are sad and then when you look what's really going on around the world the children that are coming on boats here, oh, the war oh. that's falling on you i mean that is sad yeah. and when you're just fighting with your spouse like get over it and say i'm sorry mm, you know, mm. and don't deal all that all day mm -hmm. just be the best you can mm -hmm. you know like get over it yes get over your parents get over your, your stuff is nothing compared to a child that has lost his heart. Like sometimes I perform for the children of of a child, a Star Light Foundation. I just came back to perform from them, from for them on the train from Vancouver, the train of hope from Vancouver to Lake Louise. No. And the children on the train were the. A Rocky Mountaineer sponsored the event to bring all the children from Starlight Foundation that are, are uh, children that are missing organs, that are autistic, that are oh. look, waiting for a tr transplant of the heart. And mm. they're all like going through life and death experience. And you know, they're the most beautiful, loving, the resilient. beautiful, and their mm. parents also, because their parents somehow attracted that child in their life to find the strength and the great unconditional love they have no choice like they say when you have a child you don't know what it is but when you're there god gives you all the all the yes. strength to yes. go through he gives you the tools so you know people get over your stuff and move on we have no bombs coming over top of us we only have so as we create pieces to create peace within our own lives within our own homes and then we bring it out because there's not much we can do about the war is there we can only vote with our dollars mm -hmm. and vote for change mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and thank you for your love mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. thank people for their love and their, for showing really telling them i love you mm -hmm. i truly love you and i forgive you mm -hmm. and i'm sorry that you feel that we all in this we all in this together and as human beings we are one people we're one human family on this earth so let's vote with our dollars. Let's support the right thing that are good for us. Let's give more unconditional love. And that's my mission, and I make a living at it. I am star child for you. Wow. Forgiveness seems to be a very, very big root part of your teaching, right? Like of your belief system, of your energy. If you don't forgive, you can't go on, though, can you? But that's can't when go. the sickness starts. Mm -hmm. If you don't forgive, then the, mm -hmm. that's how the cancer starts. I think that, yeah, cancer, every kind of we, physical ailment, there's a, absolutely. We, I believe that because forgiveness. Because you keep that in the body, and then it boils and percolates, and you don't talk about it, you don't discuss it, you don't, you lock it away. That's why it says body, it. mind, soul, spirit is all one. Yeah. So if you heal your body through health, and good food you also have to go through your emotion and forgive your parents forgive your your child forgive what is wherever you have to forgive yourself to have created that in your life 
and then there's also you have to go through all the experience to lighten up and get rid of the cancer that is also emotional yes all our emotions are making us healthy or sick yes I, believe I truly that. believe that yeah. and I think you're doing a very important job I am so blessed I feel so thankful to be able to do this work and to boot you're French yes yes I'm that's so even French. better oh, I'm so <laughs> French <laughs> I'm super French, and I'm funny. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> this guy's got tears in it, his eyes. It was so much fun, because you know what? You touched right here. I can feel it, yes. We are here to touch each other and truly love each other. It's the only reason why we're here, and we're missing the boat. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to miss my life anymore. I'm just done with it, and I'm just going to be outrageously funny and outrageously loving and outrageously the best that I can. Good for you. Big hug. Big hug, girl. Oh my goodness. This is just this has just been fantastic. Thank you so much for the interview. Have you got a card? You can I'll even it? give you my CD. Yeah, really? I have a CD. <gasps> I don't have children but my husband and I we've worked on music for 25 years together and we have one children album called Magic is in the Air. We we did that 10 years ago and then uh, we've worked since to a love album and now we have a love song in called Liberty mm -hmm. uh, Liberty and so we'll market your CD we'll, this we'll, this program this this interview will help you market your oh, CD thank you I'll yeah. give you a copy play it. it's all about love and compassion mm -hmm. and truth oh. and oh, uh, man. and dance oh. because I believe we need to dance yeah because you know in tribal places around the world where the tribes work so hard mm -hmm. during the day, you know what they do at night? Mm. They party. Yeah? They dance around the fire and they sing. And they dance and sing and they forget and they don't. They just they work celebrate. They celebrate. And then they work so hard during the day. So I believe as a people, as a nation, as a tribe of the world, we need to dance. We're stuck in front of the TV. We don't dance, we don't move, we get yeah. we get that hypnotized. We hypnotized, get mesmerized and then we're just like blah blah yeah. blah. We don't experience life. Don't and then we forget to forgive and we forget to love and we forget to, you know, do it. Because we're brainwashed. Exactly. Yeah, if we didn't have any TV, we, we would be talking bit. about oh, stuff. Absolutely. The kids would be talking we, to us. and We'd we would, be helping each other a lot more. Would, yes, we would. I know I've, I've started to uh, live more in community in my home, accepting people and there's beautiful c people coming in my home and I think that when you live with people, you learn way faster. Oh. Because things come up, <coughs> and then you say, "Oh my God, I attracted you in my life. I must have something to learn. I'm not gonna say goodbye now. I'm not ready because it will come back to you." Yeah. Same with your spouse. Yeah. If you go on to the next, you still have to work at that one. Yes. You have to. Exactly. You have to work it out. It's all about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you, not you, about that's right. Else. If it's up to, if it's to be, it's up to me. It's all a, the responsibilities. It's all trip. Everything you see in others is things you see in yourself. Yeah. Come the on. only thing that you and I get to control when we get out of bed in the morning is our attitude, right? Yes. Once we control our attitude, life the changes. Life changes. Yes. In the Good. morning, just say thank you for giving me this life, having a roof, I have, having food this morning. Thank you, thank you. And then life will will get you there to of where course. you want to be. Where do you want to be? Right here. Love. Feel right the here. Love, yeah. Joy. Doing what I'm doing, because yes. you know why? Wonderful people like you come into this booth. Yes. And you enrich. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Bless your heart. Thank Peace you. on earth <laughs> starts with <laughs> us. Yes, exactly with right. You. Kate, bring your CD and bring my, take one of my cards. <laughs> that was an excellent interview. <laughs> she made me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Super. Oh, we'll make sure that you... Is this your husband? That is my sweetheart for 25 years. No kidding. Yes. And he's a lovely, so kind. Where you, is he? You have to be kind of a, a saint or a place what my friends say, but you have to be unconditional love in order to accept a woman for who they are. Yes. Without putting them down and without... We let them be free. I am free. 
I am far out, I am very loud, I am over the top, because that's what my company is, I'm startup. Such as the entertainment right. that bring joy. Yeah. So in order for someone to love you, they have to love you for who you are. Yeah. So he truly adores me. And that's what love does to you. When you are adored like a child, like a dog, like dogs will do everything for you. The it's child, so loyal. They, they're so loyal. Right. So that's what my husband is for me. He's so loyal and he adores me. Does he pee on the floor? No. <laughs> a puppy? <laughs> no, he doesn't actually. He's, uh, he's, not, he's a very... Uh, Mature puppy. man. No, not a puppy. Well, you said, you know, we were talking about puppy dogs, right? How loyal it's, they were. So yeah, it's a comparison, a but I've, I have a real man, and I don't have puppies because I believe that we need to learn from a human being. I think you're right. If you don't have a human being, I understand you get a dog. Yes. Then you find love, <laughs> unconditional love. Yes. Because people cannot love each other. That's right. They find animals. But a dog can, can't they? A dog is automatically, like a child. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what it does. Yes. But you know, more people, more loving, more kindness will revive the tribe. So go vote, people, I for will. change, baby. Thank you so much. Thank you, love. It was a great interview. Uh, we just had an interview with one of the most interesting people. And here is her music. And right here. And her music is called, I'm going to star child. Wow. Oh, thank you so much. It was, it was tremendous to meet you. I'm going to hold her, her business card up. Star Child Entertainment. Look at that. So I want to I wanna say something here. People that communicate and are very free and open when you're podcasting, they will have no qualms about touching your hands when you're in an interview. Allow them to do that. They will do it appropriately. You know, she touched my hands. Like she was making that physical connection. She wanted to make a deep emotional connection with me. And she did. And she was warm and loving and accepting and she's full of lots of love. And she just had this big, huge heart that she wanted to share with everybody. And that's how it comes across. So when you podcast somebody you're going to run into different personalities. You're going to run into personalities where they want to sit way over here and they don't want to, you know, they don't want to get that close to you. This woman was right here, like right here, and she had her, she placed her hand and she locked, her, her hand was on the top of my hand and she did not move her hands for a couple of minutes because she wanted to look in my eyes and really send me the message. Like I mean, really connect on an emotional level. And she did. This is part of podcasting, this is part of web radio, is when you get to connect deeper than you could possibly connect on a radio program. This was a magnificent person. Star Child Entertainment, starchild.ca. I'll read you a little bit of the card. Stage show, promotions, special events, festivals, corporate events, schools, children. Come on over, girls. Yes. 